Hey everybody, Brent here. And uh, I want to talk to you today about something that's kind of cool. It's not really new, but it's new to me. This is the AB Suppressors AH6 Little Bird 22 Suppressor. Now, something that's uh, kind of cool. I've actually had this for a while. had it out of jail for a while, but uh, uh, I just haven't had a chance to come out and shoot it. So this is actually my first, uh, first range trip shooting it. And uh, it's kind of a unique, as far as I know, it's the only suppressor that works in this way. Most 22 cans, since 22 is a kind of a dirty caliber, you got to clean them. So they're, you know, like a takedown can, something that uh, usually there's some type of like a ring here at the top that you unscrew. And then, you know, the two two sides of the, the tube split apart and then you can get in there and clean the baffles. But the, uh, the AH6 Little Bird is... Uh, takes a different approach to it. So it's a solid uh, cylinder. There's no, you know, it's, no, it's not like two halves. It's just, it's a solid cylinder. But what the difference is, is um, the entire inner diameter is threaded. And then the, the four baffles that are inside are also threaded on their exterior diameter. So with the included tool, you screw off the cap there. And then uh, the, the, the tool that comes with it is, will, uh, goes down and then, uh, down the, the front, and then you actually unscrew the baffles out of the suppressor. So all four of them. So then you can uh, clean it that way. So it's uh, it's really interesting, it's really neat. What that allows you to do, according to the manufacturer, I haven't done this yet, is you can actually tune the suppressor to your gun. Now I'm probably not gonna do that because uh, I've, I'm gonna use this on several rifles and uh, probably a pistol. And so it doesn't really make sense for me to tune it for one for one weapon. But uh, it, what you can do, though, is when you're putting them back in, uh, your first thought's going to be, well, how do I get them back to the exact same depth? Since it's, complete, it's basically infinitely variable, you can put the baffles anywhere you want. Um, but the, the tool has four marks machined into it so that you can, uh, you can actually sync them to the right level. Uh, the, the, you know, and then, of course, if you decide to adjust that some, you can... Uh, put your own marks on there with Sharpie or something like that. So you always get them to the same depth. Okay, I hope the wind isn't too bad here, but here we have my Ruger Precision Remfire. If you recognize the paint, there's a, there's an article on 30magazineclip.com about how I did the paint. But uh, here we have the, the little bird attached to it. And as you can tell, it is the exact, let's see if I can get it to focus there, the exact same diameter. So if the paint job wasn't, uh, and it's basically the same finish too. Uh, I, I had it on here once before I painted it. Um, so it's the exact same diameter. And I believe what that is, is the, uh, it's the diameter of the, uh, the 1022. So if you're putting that on this, it would, it would, it just looks like an extension of the barrel. It's, that's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I believe it's also the same with the Ruger Mark IV pistols. If, uh, if you get the, the bull barrel. So the first thing that everybody wants to ask about a suppressor is how quiet it is, which is of course something that you can't answer because it has to do with a lot of things. The ammo, the barrel length, semi-automatic versus bolt action, all that kind of stuff. But all I know, it's, all I can say is it's laughably quiet. It's like, I have BB guns that are significantly louder than it. Is, is it hearing safe is like an overstatement or understatement, however you want to look at that. It's, uh, it's real quiet. Oh, and I should add that uh, I know someone's going to ask in the comments, so I better put it on tape here. That these are standard velocity 22 LR CCI, um, 40 grain. So the box says 1070 feet per second. I think uh, speed of sound at sea level is like 1125 feet per second. So we're we're subsonic out of that fairly long barrel, um, which is of course why it's that incredibly quiet. So I find that not everybody knows about uh, AB suppressors. They're, um, you know, they're not surefire. They're not dead air, um, but they're uh, they're actually just by happenstance local to me. I'm 
I'm uh, I'm located in Lenexa, Kansas, and they're over there in uh, I think it's Gardner or I think specifically New Century, Kansas, and uh, um, they've got some interesting, uh, cool designs. You should definitely check them out. Um, I think they, if I if I remember correctly, I think they started. I think they do like power adders for motors, like superchargers and turbochargers. I think. I hope I'm correct on that. Uh, and I think the suppressor business was something that they got into a few years ago, and it seems to be going pretty well. I only, I only this is the only one I have. I don't have any uh, like center fire caliber uh, uh, suppressors from them. But I don't know. Sometime it'd be cool maybe to go see their see since it's so close to see if I can go see where they're actually built. Now on the, uh, I originally bought this suppressor because I was suppressing a 22 Magnum and uh, uh, while it was in jail the whole time, I actually kind of fell away from doing that. So now I'm just kind of relegated, relegated it back to 22. Um, on the website, it says obviously 22 LR and it says 5.7. Uh, it's rated for 5.7. Uh, so I figured 22 Magnum wouldn't be an issue, but I did get confirmation through somebody else that uh, talked to the owner, I believe his name is Brad, uh, that uh, that 22 Magnum shouldn't be a problem. But if you're concerned in any way, contact the manufacturer. All right, well, I don't know what else uh, what, what else there's really to say about it. Um, it's uh, it, I think it was money well spent. It, it's not super expensive. Uh, obviously, just like with every suppressor, the worst part is the weight. Um, but uh, it's, it's, if, it's an absolute joy to shoot it. There's there's no there's just nothing to it. It's uh, like I said, it's quieter than uh, every single BB gun that I have. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I wish I had a decibel meter because uh, that would be interesting to find out exactly. Well, anyway, I think I'm just gonna shoot some more before I have to take off. So, thanks for watching.